It's Evangelion time! Hello and welcome to another figure view. Today we're gonna to have a look at the Bandai Robot Spirits Side Eva Test Evangelion Type 01, aka Eva 01, long ass title, and also weird ass box because there's like the window with the Eva in there. But you have all the artwork, all the information on the front, I guess, if that is the front. But anyway, we already had a look at Eva 00. I'm all in with the Robot Spirit design if they're gonna release, re-release some uh, some other Evas, I'm, I'm totally down for it. This is re-release by the way, the Robot Spirit design has been going on for a long time and when I reviewed, especially the Malfax Evas, a lot of you were like, the Robot Spirits are better, but at that time, they were kind of hard to get, so I'm really happy that Bana is re-releasing these and uh, let's have a look at it and see how good it is. So anyway, I love this figure. Da, 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 da. Oh wait. Probably can't use that song also, by the way, because content 90. I did use the N64 version on one of the videos, so maybe that will work. Let's see. Stands at about 18 centimeters, well, 16, a little over 16 centimeters to the top of his head. And if you're counting the shoulder blades, that would be 17 inches. Would go up to about six and a half to the head, and like 6.7 the shoulder blades now uh, for comparison's sake just real real quick because I want that out of the way here's the Marfax one old noodle legs because ooh, look at how stable he is I actually want to go back uh, if you watched that review I was way too generous that day I was just so happy that I finally got an Eva because I like the size and whatnot but yeah the paint job when I was horrible if I can uh, if I ever redo a review, that would be one uh, I would consider. Anyway, uh, just for comparison's sake, this one is also a lot more expensive. It is a lot taller, uh, it has really longer legs, and I feel like the plastic overall, it looks, uh, looks a little bit better. It looks darker, it looks more muted, and I kind of prefer that, but uh, then again, brightening up with this guy is uh, also not a bad choice. But yeah, the biggest difference I have with these guys is that the uh, Malfax one has all the detail in the EVA <clears throat> the EVA one on the shoulder and that stuff but really that's about it that's as far as this one goes being better than this guy because everything else we don't even want to talk about that one anymore let's talk about this guy did I say guy I meant her so uh, first and foremost the look of the face go it's amazing because I love the metallic that they use in the eyes. It does so much for me. I don't know if it does a lot for you, but really it, it just brightens up in the weirdest ways. I had him standing next to my computer where it's uh, where I don't have a lot of lights and just like kind of this one just caught the light and it's just it was a bit shiny overall. So all the panel lining on here looks pretty good actually in the green and the purple. Like I'm saying, is a lot more vibrant than I'm used to with the Marfax one. And it's really depending on what you're going for, but I would prefer a Mutatone, but this is still nice. Can open the mouth, has a big hinge in there, and it's a big hinge because we're getting... That's an issue. Because we're getting a lot of mileage out of that mouth, we can make go the weird kind of moose noise that she makes. Then you got the detail in the neck which moves around with the articulation is one of my favorite part of these guys. And then the chest area, can open this one up, I'm actually spoiling some part of the articulation but just so you can see all the stuff is also nice metallic in the gray. You got the orange and the purple. Also look at the back, have some more nice metallic kind of in the spine, the backbone of the figure. It all also looks pretty shiny and then we got the shoulder blades with the side detail over here, the kind of a diamond. Missing the Eva one, unfortunately, as I mentioned. And also no writing in the front on the hand. But as you can tell, the paint job is clean and it looks good. And I don't really have anything to complain about, even like the panel lining. Ah, some are maybe a little bit off, but I can't really. I don't know, actually no, I take it back. It's not off, it's on there. There's the butt, well, not really the butt. And the crotch piece, moving down to the long, long legs. Let me actually zoom out a bit. To the knee pads, which also still have some more articulation there. I mean, this, these things, you can move that around. And it doesn't break off, like, <coughs> other companies. Anyway, just... I'm, I'm done crapping on Malfax for now. Then we go down to the boots, have some nice orange on there. Also some detail 
and overall have nothing to complain about the paint job, the mold grade. Like I'm saying, the only thing I, I'm not the biggest fan of is that it's a bit more bright, but that's really debatable. Also, this isn't really stable, but you can fix it. Now, I feel like articulation is pretty important for the EVAS because especially this one is very nimble and this figure does not disappoint. I already shown you the mouth, get some good range out of that one, but the rest of it is also pretty decent. You can take this out, by the way. I don't really know the point of that. We have a different one in the uh, accessories, so... Anyway, head moves up, is on a ball hinge and moves down. It's kind of hard to move this around without having everything else move around with it because you also have the neck. Let me tilt the head kind of side to side and goes all the way around. That's as much as good as we have for the head. Now with the neck, you can also move... The, let me actually... Can I take the head over real quick? No, okay. Anyway, then here's the neck. Goes back and forth. I don't want to break anything off, so I don't want to be too rough with it. But the neck is super nicely articulated. Has some uh, really all-around motion. For your shoulder part, you have a ball joint that's connected. Well, a ball hinge in the shoulder itself that's connected to another ball in the chest area as such. You can rotate this around and you can bring it all the way up. Actually, a little bit more than that. Then you can also swivel it over here and you have a ball hinge in the elbow and another ball hinge in the hand. As for your shoulder blades, also rotates and I think also rotates over here. The shoulder blades are just connected. Yeah, a tiny, tiny ball pack and this one just keeps popping out. But it is connected to the shoulder. You can wiggle it around, can bring it back and forth a little bit and then it just pops out. It's so small. Uh, I already tried to get some super glue on there and just wiggle it around hoping it would fit better. It does kind of, uh, but still not great, so I'm just going to let it out. Now for your chest articulation, well, you had this, you can open this one up, we already had that. That's also on very small ball joints, so you can actually, don't have any room actually to move that up and down. It's actually just on hinges, never mind, I'll take it back. I thought that was a ball joint in there. So, you have, I think, a ball joint, ball hinge in the chest area, then you have one over there have some side to side motion because you have some room. You don't really have side to side motion in the chest. Does, also doesn't really swivel. It does go back and forth, has a little bit. Then this part up, down, side to side. Doesn't have any rotation because it's pretty blocked. Same thing over here, does go forward. Does tilt side to side, doesn't, ah, a little bit of rotation. So, what do we get when we combine these? Uh, beautiful bend of the entire torso, also in the back. Not as much, but still pretty good, and also goes side to side very, very nicely, and I'm really impressed by that, and it's actually better than... Wow. <laughs> I'm having fun with that, I'm sorry. Anyway, legs move up, legs move to the back. You have also like a hinge over here where you can pull this entire thing down, goes up even more, goes to the back even more. Doesn't go out as much, don't have the greatest one. But you can rotate it over here, also like the crotch piece that I have, look at that. Doesn't really do anything, we already have the torso movement. So then you have the knee, double hinged, goes up completely all the way to the butt. And as I mentioned, you can move this a little bit back and forth. And then the foot actually is very nice engineered. Goes forward, goes to the back, does tilt side to side all the way. Look at all the stuff that's going on over there. Can you? Can we have a look at that? You have like a hinge, and it's connected to a ball hinge in the in the ankle, basically. And uh, yeah, as such, it's just amazing. And this piece over here is just connected via ball to this entire thing in the front over there. And then you have a toe hinge to round it off. Also nicely molded with kind of like the small button over there. So awesome stuff. So anyway, here's like a bunch of accessories. There's the AT field, which I'm just gonna start off with. It's nice and see-through plastic, has like a bunch of detail on it, and obviously an opening for your AT claw hands. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, it actually holds on somewhat to it. Neat, let me try the other one. Eh, you just kind of slide that in. Sorry, I'm not on camera again. All right, anyway, so you slide that in and you do that and it's fiddly doing that on camera. So uh, yeah, there you go. It fits though and it holds on pretty nicely, I might add. And to hold up the entire AT field, you get like a bunch of stuff that's supposed to make a base. I will display that in a second, but 
here's the single pods, there's that, and then there's all of this, which, uh, yeah, I just, I'm gonna assemble it, so it, it, I don't feel like there's uh, much of a point to it, to me showing it to you, but that's how it looks disassembled. Then, you got a different antenna, which I don't really know. Why is it different from the regular antenna? Maybe it's just a... Maybe it's just one for replacement? I don't know. Is it a little bit longer? I don't know. Then we have another shoulder piece, which I'm wondering why... Uh, why the one shoulder blade always pops off. Maybe it's because of the progressive knife, which uh, just flips out over here. It is connected to it. It is an entire mold. Cannot slide anything out. Looks awesome. The paint job on it is amazing. And uh, where did the progressive knife actually go? I had a progressive knife. What the? Anyway, there's the uh, pulse rifle. Is it called the pulse rifle? I think it's called the pulse rifle. Very generic, basic looking gun, but that's how it looks in the show, in the manga and anime and whatever version you prefer. And then you have the uh, emblem, blah, 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 cord, that cord. Umbilical? Something like that. Uh, has some nice metallic on it, is on a pretty thick wire, and it is bent like that in the box for the record. And where's that knife? Must have fallen down earlier. Nice metallic, again with the paint job. It is pretty sturdy, has some red on it. And why is the lighting just like, light up camera, Jesus. And we have fists, regular fist hands. You can't see anything, regular fist hands. Then we got open hands, open posing hands, and then there's sharp hands. What are? And trigger finger hands, which almost fell out of my hands. And then there's one more piece for the base. Let's assemble. Well, no, actually, I also got this. By the way, I'm just gonna add that to the accessories. Uh, I bought this one at Big Bad Toy Store, for the record, not sponsored. But I got the base with it. It wasn't even on the on the thing. It wasn't advertised. I just got this figure, and I got the base with it. So this is like a regular Bandai Tomashini Nations base. Um, SH figures and whatnot. This is like the humanoid one, even though like uh, this is a robot. But I guess the robot base is different. Anyway, let me get that. You got like a nice Nerf logo. Nerf. Emergency. Emergency. Actually looks pretty cool. And apparently, you can also pack this one. Like this one goes into the base. And the other end also goes into the hole in the back. If the instructions didn't lie to me. Yes. Ah, why? And that's how it looks with the AT field. I just wanted to give you a glimpse of it. Obviously, this is not how it should be. It should be a little bit higher. But I just wanted to give you a look. Just want to give you a glimpse of what you can do with it uh, because you can actually adjust the height over there. You can bring that out. Uh, this little thing slides and then it goes off. See, like, first of all, I'm only using one hand. Second of all, I'm having it on the camera, so that's annoying. Anyway, uh, move this up and down and uh, it holds on very nicely to it. There are two holes in the AT field in the bottom over here and it is strapped in completely so there's no issue there and it just goes into the base and I, what what about the other clamp which uh, I can't find anymore this clamp actually has nothing to do with this base this clamp is just to clamp onto the crotch and that's what I heard actually that's what I've seen clamp onto here can't do it right now but you just clamp it onto there and then you can put it on any base and it's gonna bring me to the final thoughts uh, buy it just go Go, go out and buy it. But yeah, anyway, uh, very fun to post. Here's a couple of pictures I took of it. Just because I really had a lot of enjoyment getting this thing into a lot of different poses. It's very dynamic, very like sporty. Like you can do like the running part. And I mean, that's like the thing. Eva Zero One, especially Eva Zero One, I feel like was extremely agile in, in the anime. And you can do pretty much all of that with this figure. So that's already a huge plus. The accessories are nice. There's a lot of stuff like the AT, AT I want to say AT and T, the AT field, and a bunch of cool hands and like a base for the AT field. Again, like a base for the figure, which again, I do not know if that's included with all of them. It was included with mine, so I'm gonna count it, I guess. But even without that, it doesn't really matter. 
I love this figure and there's really not much more I can say about it. I don't really have anything to complain, it uh, completely craps on Marfax, uh, even though this one is cheaper. Well, not, almost half, not quite, like one third or something, uh, well two thirds of the price. Anyway, just, yeah, this figure is great, go out and buy it. That's gonna do it guys, as usual, thank you very much for watching, don't forget if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like, and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, card game stuff, and whatever EVA01 wants. Nothing really. Well, maybe the shoulder blade. I did kind of put some glue on it. Super glue. So it is a bit tighter now and I hope it will stay. Other than that, perfect.